James Hill, Eiffel TV, in the association for MTK Global. With me, I've got Daniel Dubois, who's just had his first official press conference as a pro heavyweight. How'd you find it? Good. Good experience. Uh, first time, and I enjoyed it. I liked seeing all the. Have you visualised this moment before? Have you thought yeah. about when you're going to be sort of announcing yeah. yourself on this stage? I've seen it. I've seen it so many times, and just in my head, visualising it. But. But it's, it's real, it's, it's, it's good. It's how, good. How did it live up to expectation? I mean, you're next to you, sitting on your left, you had double Olympic gold champion Nicola Adams, WBA world champion Terry Fanningal on the same table as yourself. So how did it sort of, how did it live up to expectation? It was exactly as I thought it would be great. You know, next to Frank Warren, Nicky Adams, and uh, Terry Flanagan. Just spectacular being next to these guys. What was the reason for you deciding to sign with Frank Warren and Box Nation? Know that you've had a whole heap of suitors. What was the reason behind that choice? Obviously, um, it was a good, Frank gave a good offer, and um, that was the main thing, really. Yeah. And, um, you know, just four years waiting around for the Olympics, not, not reaching my full potential. I think now's the time to strike, you know. Well, just go for it. You know, realise my title ambition to be a world heavyweight champion. Now, John Rawlin made a reference to a story between yourself and Anthony Joshua regarding some sparring stuff. Now, I just want you to clear up what was said today. I don't want to go too deep into the past. I just want to just get out what happened at the press release. You might not want to explain in that. We sparred. That was it. <laughs> <laughs> It was a good spot, you know. Yeah. It was a good, good spot. I quit myself well. I stood my ground. I, I gave a I hit back just as hard as he hit, hit at me, and it was just competitive sparring. With similar dimensions between yourself and that, with Joshua, did, did you take away a lot from that sparring? Did, do you think you, you progressed? That spar helped you. Well, we both did really. He was preparing for his world title fights, and. Um, we both took a lot away because I'm, I'm one of the best amateurs in the world at that, that time I was and, and I, just my strength and my, sk my skills skill set I think he took away a lot and I took away a lot from him he's a very good sound fighter and did you feel comfortable in it like you was holding your own you, felt, you didn't feel out of your depth so just no not with any of the heavyweights I felt I haven't felt out of my depth I've just it's, I've settled in it easily. It's not, it's not anything I've had to try and adjust to. It's just natural for me. I know you went up to spar Huey Fury. He's got a big, big title fight coming up against Joseph Parker in New Zealand. A little bit of time with Tyson Fury as well, which must be a huge honour for yourself. What, what was that experience like? Um, it was good. You know, they treated me well. The accommodation was nice, and I was, I was, it was a good experience for me because um, just. Working with different style, you know, he's got a bit of the Tyson Fury sort of movement, hands down, flashy. But I dealt with him well, and he was a good spot. What do you think of Tyson Fury as a fighter and his accomplishments in boxing so far? He's a good fighter. He's done well. He's done what he set out to do, and I think he's had his feel. He's, he's, got, he's got his glory right now. Craig Warren said he has to rule you in a little bit. You want to be fast tracked. You want to potentially be the youngest heavyweight to win a world title. Is, is that your dream or is that the PR dream? Talk to me about it. It's both, man. Um, if that's, they, they've got, it's, it's, it's all about boxing, it's all about entertainment, and if I can realise that dream as soon as possible, then that'll be great. That'll be great. Big chance for you to impress on the undercard of Terry, Gan Terry Flanagan versus Peter Petrov, as well as Liam Smith, Liam Williams. Yeah. Highly anticipated clash on that one. So do you yeah. think you'll be able to stand out amongst these, these big fights? Yeah, I'm a heavyweight. The heavyweight division rules the roost. At the end of the day, the heavyweight division rules the rules, and I'll always stand out, whatever. Got a fight prediction for me for your debut? How do you want it to go? How do you see it going? Me performing and shining and showing what I can do. On that note, Daniel Dubois, thank you very much for coming to our Good to get you on the channel, mate. Appreciate it. And we'll catch you at the weigh-in on Friday. Thank you, sir. Cheers.